What's up everybody, we're back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at dealing with aggression and aggression in your fish tanks in general. Before we go ahead and continue with this video, I hope you guys are liking my videos and just to make sure, like and subscribe to my channel just to let me know that you guys are indeed. So, let's go into aggression and what is aggression, how do you deal with aggression, uh, and what can be done really. Alright, so let's quickly talk about this tank in general and then I'll quick go into the talking about the aggression. So I first got this tank in September of this year and I set it up, I put in my Paku, my Albano Garami and my Arowana as well as my Giraffe Nose Catfish, my Ripsaw Catfish. I pretty much moved everything that was in my four foot aquarium into here and I think within like a day or two, I started to have an aggression problem. And that was my albino gourami was picking on my paku. Uh, and that was a real pain in the rear end. And well, what did I decide to do? So there are certain methods you can use to try and reduce aggression in your aquarium. The first method I went with was a visual block. So before the pile of rocks you see before you was a pile of rocks, it was actually stacked quite nicely on top of each other. And I was trying to use that as a visual blocker so that my albino gourami wouldn't always see the paku and the paku could kind of hide and rest and recuperate essentially. That didn't really work. The albino gourami eventually found the paku, chased the paku, they knocked down the rock. Thankfully nothing got squished in it and it now ended up the way it is. And as you can see, they aren't too heavy so even the, the giraffe nose catfish can move them. How do you know you're gonna get a, an aggressive fish? Um, aggressive fish can come in all different sizes. It's not based on the size of the fish. You can have large aggressive fish like the Vieja Cichlid and the Albino Garami and you can have smaller aggressive fish. My flower horns, okay my flower horns do get big but they start off very aggressive from a small age. So did you see that? That was the aggression I'm talking about. Um, and it doesn't really matter if you're getting an aggressive fish or a mild temperament fish, you can still end up with an aggressive fish. So my giraffe nose catfish is an excellent example of this. They are supposed to be very docile. However, this giraffe nose catfish picks on this giraffe nose catfish a lot. And I don't know if it's just because the little one bugs the big one or if it's a male female thing, but there are times where these two are chasing each other nonstop. Um, and these are supposed to be, and the giraffe nose catfish is supposed to be a very docile fish. So, Aggression does come in almost every fish, but some fish are more likely to be aggressive than others. My example is cichlids. So this orange fish is a cichlid and the vieja, which is the pinkish fish, is also a cichlid. Cichlids have a natural tendency to be aggressive because they are a ten territorial species of fish. And so they are, you're more likely to get an aggressive fish when you buy cichlids. Now. You do have peaceful cichlids and you do have aggressive cichlids. Um, and nine times out of 10, when you buy a peaceful cichlid, only one of them is gonna be aggressive. In my case, the nine times out of 10, I didn't luck out on and I got the one out of 10 aggressive vieja because vieja are actually supposed to be quite peaceful cichlids. They, they're pretty much called water cows. They don't really do much, but if you know anything about cows, cows can be very aggressive if you're unlucky or you can have an aggressive fish and it is aggressive, but not as aggressive as I was expecting. So my albino gourami I know is an aggressive fish. They are very territorial, they don't like their own species, they don't like other fish, and they will bully and kill fish if they want to. I got quite lucky with this albino gourami, although it is kind of a bully towards the paku, it hasn't gone out of its way to attack and hurt any of my other fish. So. You can get lucky and you can buy an aggressive species and it can be quite docile. So aggression comes in all sizes. I think the, the issue you find when you have large aggressive fish is the damage that you see. Now small aggressive fish are very much capable of killing other small fish. That is, there is no doubt in my mind that that is possible. I have seen it with my small flower horns, even with my other cichlids that I've had in the past small fish can kill each other and they can really hurt each other. 
but when they do that they tend to only attack and kill the fish that they target when you have larger fish that are aggressive what happens is as you can see the paku is kind of dancing around the tank this is a large fish now if this fish runs into a decoration the glass the other fish then obviously obviously you're gonna have more damage you're gonna have more damage to the fish you're gonna have more damage to the aquarium you can also have more damage to the other fish that are completely fine with these aggressive fish like the tinfoil bobs for example this is why i find that having aggression in larger fish is more worrying because of the other damage it can inflict. Now, this is very much a sight-based problem. If I switch off these lights, these fish will start to calm down and they won't pick on the Paku as much. They're doing it more so because I switched on the lights, I fed them and I'm trying to film this video, but it does help me to illustrate my point. Now, there are options, like I said, you can either add visual blocks. I find that visual blocks work a lot better for smaller fish because like I've said, if the fish are being chased about, they are going to run into the aquarium decorations. As you can see on the side of the Paku, his scales have been scratched. And that is because he's been going into these rocks and he has been pretty much been um, hurting himself on them. So for bigger fish, that is not an option. Smaller fish, that's definitely an option because they are less likely to run into these things because they probably have more space to swim and they're probably able to navigate themselves and maneuver themselves about a lot better. Another thing to do with big fish, and I, the reason I decided to film this video was actually when I had my two large Florida gar. You have large fish in your aquarium and they tend to control the aggression. My two large Florida gar, other than attacking and killing my silver dollars, which wasn't aggression, it was more instinct because that was the kind of food size that they would go for. So that wasn't aggression, more as instinct and they didn't really pick on the fish in general. They were just trying to eat them. Aggression is different from hunger. These guys are picking on him because A, it's in their nature to pick on fish, but B, they're just really, really mean. They're doing it because they're territorial, they're doing it to prove a point, and they're kind of doing it to show that they are the boss. They're not doing it for any other reason. Whilst when a fish when, when my gar were trying to eat these guys, they weren't trying to be aggressive, they weren't trying to prove that they are the boss of the tank, they were simply trying to eat the fish because they were hungry. So that is the difference between a hungry fish and an aggressive fish. You can have an aggressive fish that's hungry and will eat your smaller fish, but that isn't necessarily aggression. That is just, it saw something that's big enough to fit in its mouth and it ate it. So that, that's one thing that we need to just get straight. The best thing to do in that case is then to add in the large fish because the larger fish again, like I've said, help to diffuse aggression. The reason I added in these tinfoil barbs was to help with diffusing aggression. They swim about in a school, they kind of act like a block in themselves, and they kind of, they can help to confuse the aggressor. Because when the aggressor is swimming through the crowd of tinfoil barbs, they might stop because they, they kind of lose focus on what they're attacking, uh, and their focus is now switched onto something else, and they're not gonna go ahead and attack these tinfoil barbs, but, you know, it's just nice to have that distraction. The bigger the fish are, so these guys can get to about 14 inches, which is, you know, quite big. So imagine seven of these, eight of these large fish swimming about the aquarium. You can see that this is a more effective solution because that's even more blockage. Uh, and it'll help to break up the line of sight. Another option you can go with, instead of just overstocking your fish, with, uh, stocking your tank with large peaceful fish, is to go ahead and add in large aggressive fish. When you have, you know, seven or eight aggressive fish, not one of them can become a single boss of the tank because there will always be challenges and they will be focusing on one another but they won't be focusing on an individual fish all at the same time so it helps to break it up and aggression is normal so it's not it's not going to kill the paku directly indirectly he can die from hitting the glass too hard jumping out of the aquarium running into the decoration uh maybe getting a really bad attack and it getting infected so the, <laughs> there are possibilities but yeah in conclusion there are ways of dealing with aggression you can like i've said you can add your blockers you can add in your distractive fish that I have. You can add in your large aggressive fish, 
or simply you can just remove the aggressors and move them to another tank to sell them on but the only thing to watch out for there is if you shift the balance of power you might end up having it worse off than it already is so just make that clear like if i were to remove the vieja for example i know that the albino garami is still gonna attack and harass the paku and nothing would really change for the paku you would just have one less fish doing it so it's not really it doesn't really make sense so instead what i'm going to do is as you guys know i'm growing out some young vieja I want to get them to about eight nine inches and i'm going to throw them all in here and that will hopefully help to diffuse the aggression and as well because this is a male vieja maybe the females will help to you know keep his a, a focus on them and maybe that's why he's attacking so much is because you know he's just alone and he's looking for a wife you know you never know i mean this guy is just he he would uh, he would attack anything and everything if it looked like a garami so it's not good for him but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Unfortunately, I wanted to show you this tank as it was peaceful because I had my Glar in and it, the, the aggression had gone down, the Paku had healed up and all that good stuff. But that unfortunately isn't the case now. But this also did work out well because it kind of shows you what aggression looks like in the mildest form. I would call this mild aggression. There are much worse cases of aggression that you can find where the fish are attacked and killed. The attack so much that they jump out of the aquariums they run into things and kill themselves and it is not good and it's so sorry about that my video ended up cutting out because when i was transferring the file from my gopro to my laptop i don't think it transferred over properly but i ended up deleting that file on my gopro so i don't have it anymore but basically like i was saying having uh, your fish get injured in your tank isn't great having them get um, attacked by other fish isn't great and so that was kind of what I was ending up saying. Anyways, this is now the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you lot are all keeping safe. We're now in tier four in here in London. So unfortunately for us, Christmas is canceled, but I hope you guys are doing all right. And there will be a video coming out on Christmas day for those of you with not much to do. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. So am I, I love to see you guys. Um, I love to see you guys reactions and your comments on my videos. So hope you guys are keeping safe. And as always, peace out.